What's going on now? Please tell us we're not. Oh no. Are we gonna. Stop fighting! Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. With the three keepers destroyed and the barrier down, Serana, let's go and join your mother to get that Elder Scroll. Come on. now please tell us we're not oh no are we gonna really can you stop fighting She's not leading us to the scroll. Okay, now. Will you lead us to the scroll?
I don't like having to bend her will, but here we are. Forgive my astonishment, but I never thought I'd witness the death of that dragon. What makes you say that? Volumes written on Dernivir allege that he can't be slain by normal means. It appears they were mistaken. Go on. The soul of a dragon is as resilient as its owner's scale. It's possible that your killing blow has merely displaced Dernivir's physical form while he reconstitutes himself. And how long will that take? Minutes? Hours? Years? I can't even begin to guess. I suggest we don't wait around to find out. Now, let's get you the Elder Scroll and you can be on your way. Okay. Is there anything else here we might need? Now that you've retrieved the Elder Scroll, you should be on your way. If there's anything I can do before you depart, you must let me know. Can you help me get my soul back? So my daughter applied some of the lessons I taught her about necromancy, did she? Don't worry. I think I can help you. Good, I can use all the help I can get. Your soul essence was trapped inside a gem. When you and Serana entered the soul camp, it was given to the ideal masters as payment. You simply need to retrieve the gem. The moment you touch it, your soul essence will be restored. Any idea where it could be? There's an offering altar not terribly far from here. I'm willing to bet that the gem you're looking for is there. Is there anything else? Could be your last chance. You're staying here? I have no choice. As I told you before, I'm a daughter of Cold Harbor. If I return to Tamriel, that increases Harkon's likelihood of bringing the tyranny of the sun to fruition. Well, we may never return. After what I've put Serana through, I would understand that she never wished to see me again. I leave that decision in your hands. Remember that Harkon is not to be trusted. No matter what he promises, he'll deceive you in order to get what he wants. And promise me you'll keep my daughter safe. She's the only thing of value. All right, I promise. Okay, Serana, come on, let's go. Taking quite some time. I don't want to go any closer though, and, and my trigger has flight or something. Serana. I'm firing at the dragon, not you. Unless somehow you're linked to it. All right. 
right, I've depleted all the Stay your weapons. I would speak with you, Quanari. What? I I I thought you were dead and then I just killed you again. Cursed, not dead. Doomed to exist in this form for eternity. Trapped between Laas and Enoch. Between life and death. Didn't you try to kill me? The hostility was necessary. I was bound to an oath. Why are we speaking? I believe in civility among seasoned warriors. And I find your ear worthy of my words. My claws have rendered the flesh of innumerable foes, but I have never once been felled on the field of battle. I therefore honor name you Quanarin, or Vanquisher in your top. Um, well, I found you equally worthy. Your words do me great honor. My desire to speak with you was born from the result of our battle, Quanarin. I merely wish to respectfully ask a favor of you. Of course. What kind of favor? For countless years I've roamed the Soul Cairn in unintended service to the ideal master. Before this, I roamed the skies above Tamriel. I desire to return there. So what's stopping you? I fear that my time here has taken its toll upon me. I share a bond with this dreaded place. If I ventured far from the Soul Cairn, my strength would begin to wane until I was no more. Okay, so how can I help? I will place my name with you and grant you the right to call my name from Tamriel. Do me this simple honor, and I will fight at your side as your Graze Mazen, your ally, and teach you my food. Just call your name in Tamriel, that's it? Trivial in your mind, perhaps. For me, it would mean a great deal. I don't require an answer, Quanarin. Simply speak my name to the heavens when you feel the time is right. Okay. And how did you end up in the Soul Cairn? Oh, what? Oh my goodness. What? I'm learning all these words of power. How is this happening? How did you end up in the Soul Cairn? There was a time when I called Tamriel my home. But those days have long since passed. The Dova roamed the skies, vying for their small slices of territory that resulted in immense and ultimately fatal battles. Were you a part of all that? I was. But unlike some of my brethren, I sought solutions outside the norm in order to maintain my superiority. I began to explore what the Dova call Elok Gilan, the ancient forbidden art that you call necromancy. Oh my goodness, a necromantic dragon. I've heard it all. So you sought the Soul Cairn for answers? The Ideal Masters assured me that my powers would be unmatched that I could raise legions of the undead. In return, I was to serve them as a keeper until the death of the one who calls herself 
Valerica. And they didn't tell you she was immortal. I discovered too late that the Ideal Masters favored deception over honor and had no intention of releasing me from my binding. They had control of my mind, but fortunately they couldn't possess my soul. Is that why you're free now? Free? No. I have been here too long, Quanarin. The soul cairn has become a part of what I am. I can never fully call Tamriel my home again, or I would surely perish. I only hope that you will allow me the precious moments of time there through your call. All right. Well, so be it. All right, Serana. We have a couple more things we need to do before we go. All right, but we can start heading back toward the entrance. And I'll see you later, Dernavir. Thank you.